Today we'll be using Excel's Goal Seek for project costing. Goal Seek is a powerful tool in Excel that allows you to determine the value of a variable that will achieve a specific goal or target. Let's use Goal Seek to solve a quantitative optimization example related to project cost management for a building structure made of cross-laminated timber or CLT. We'll work on a dynamic template in Excel that sets the objective function, goal, and the decision variable. You can follow along by getting the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. With only four simple steps in Excel, we can perform cost optimization for our example based on the project management body of knowledge or PMBOK. Step one is to identify correlated cost centers and calculate the baseline cost. Suppose you are a project manager responsible for building a structure using cross-laminated timber. The total project cost is comprised of material costs, CLT manufacturing costs, labor, and overhead costs. Your goal is to minimize the total project cost. The first item is material costs, which include timber and non-toxic adhesives used in CLT. Our project requires a quantity of 500 cubic meters, and the baseline cost in cell E3 will be the product of cost per unit and quantity. Keep an eye on the main decision variable, which is the quantity of materials as other cost centers are correlated to that. The second item is CLT manufacturing costs, which involves a stacking kiln dry timber boards at 90 degree angles to each other and gluing their surfaces together. This cost center is correlated with the previous item. In other words, the same quantity will be processed in the CLT manufacturing plant. We need to multiply the manufacturing unit cost of $490 per cubic meter by the required quantity to find the baseline cost of $245,000. The third cost center is related to labor for on-site installation of CLT panels. This is correlated with the previous cost center, and for every quantity unit of CLT, two labor hours are required for installations. The baseline cost will be the product of unit cost of $45 per hour and quantity of 1,000 labor hours. The last item of overhead or project coordination costs is correlated with the previous cost center. In other words, coordination and management of 1,000 labor hours is required. We need to multiply the overhead unit cost of $70 by the quantity of 1,000 to reach the baseline cost of $70,000. You can appreciate how our project cost centers are correlated to each other, which is organically the case in most projects. We can find the total project cost by clicking on the relevant cell and pressing the equal sign. Then use the sum function to add up baseline cost to reach the total cost of $410,000. Now we have concluded the first step in performing goal seek for project costing using Excel. Step 2 is to define the goal and create placeholders for optimized values. The project client has reviewed our costing and unfortunately, they are not prepared to spend more than $375,000 on this CLT project. However, they are happy to reduce the project scope and optimize quantities to reach their budget goal. We'll be using Excel's Goal Seek for this optimization task. We'll need to create placeholder columns for optimized values from being overwritten by the Goal Seek tool. Simply copy-paste quantity values and baseline costs to the placeholder columns. This concludes the second step in performing Goal Seek for project costing using Excel. Step 3 is to set the decision variable and perform Goal Seek. Since we can specify only one decision variable in the Goal Seek tool, it's important to consider the correlation of cost centers. The effective decision variable in our example is the quantity of material, which has a domino effect on downstream cost centers, including manufacturing, labor, and overhead or coordination costs. We can start seeking our goal, which is an optimized project cost of $375,000. Select the relevant cell in the spreadsheet and navigate to the data tab. From the what if analysis drop down, click on goal seek. Make sure in the first box which is set cell, our objective function or the total project cost is selected. For the second box which is to value, we should enter our goal of $375,000. For the last box which is by changing cell, our decision variable of material quantity is selected. In a few seconds, magic happens and Excel finds an optimized solution that satisfies the client goal of $375,000 by reducing the project scope and optimizing quantities. Finally, press OK and you can see both baseline and optimized values side by side. This concludes the third step in performing goal seeking for project costing using Excel. Step 4 is to evaluate the benefits and limitations of the Goal Seek tool in Excel. The optimized total project cost was achieved by using almost 457 cubic meters of materials. However, it's important to consider a few points. Firstly, Goal Seek is designed for simple optimization problems where you want to adjust a single variable to achieve a specific goal. Secondly, Goal Seek is best suited for linear problems where the relationships between variables is linear. 
Thirdly, goal seek doesn't allow for constraints except for the goal itself. In other words, we cannot select a range for decision variables or force the solution to be an integer value. Considering these points, we'll need to use other tools to perform more advanced optimizations in Excel. We'll see in the next video that Solver is a versatile tool which is capable of handling complex problems with multiple decision variables. Moreover, Solver can handle nonlinear problems. It also allows for multiple constraints, including equalities and inequalities. In our next video, we'll use Excel Solver in project planning and management. To watch more videos like this, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next one.